Once you got Photoshop open, then you need to either open up a photograph or start a new blank document. If you want to open up a photograph, you can just click on this open button. If you want to start a blank new document, go ahead and click on create new or here from the file menu, go to new and you'll get this new dialog box. Now this has changed over the years. So depending on what version of Photoshop you have, this may look a little different. So we have these tabs along the top and you can see I'm on the recent tab. Here's the save, the photos, the print. So depending on what you're doing, let's say I want to make a photo for the web. Well, there you go. Click on web and then see if one of these matches. Or if you want to print something, click on print and then see if one of these matches what you want. This could also get you started, get you close. If you go to, let's say, recent and you don't see what you want, you can always click on one of these and then just come over here to the side and change it. So for example, in this one, we're going to call this workspace. So go ahead and type in workspace from the preset details. Then here we've got width and it's measured in these options, pixels, inches, centimeters. For our first one, we're going to play around with pixels. Oftentimes when I'm making something like that I'm going to print out, I'll start with inches because I'm used to working with inches in print documents. But this one is just going to be a file that we save and share with your instructor. So go to pixels and then for width, let's type in 4,000, something really big. And then for height, let's type in 2,000. So that's 4,000 for the width. 2000 for the height. Now the resolution is how fine it is and this can be really tricky. When you're designing something that you're going to print, always set your resolution at 300. Uh, my resolution right now, the default for this document was 72 and that's just fine. When you're saving something for online or maybe say a slideshow or something that you're going to show on the computer, 72 is just fine. Next, we have the color mode. We want to make sure that this is set to RGB. Grayscale, we wouldn't be able to use any colors. And really, for what we're going to be doing, displaying it on a screen, RGB is the correct color mode. And then the last thing here, you can have a black background or just a white background, and that's what we want. So go ahead and hit Create, and that'll create a blank new document that is the right size.